Hello, I am Munir Hawk and you are watching Developing Simple Quiz Android App Development Tutorial in Kotlin. This is the ninth part of video of our Simple Quiz App Development Series. In this tutorial, we will learn how to load a fragment inside an activity by options menu using the navigation UI. So basically what we uh, want to do, we want to add a navigation menu here and clicking on that options menu we load an uh, we load an fragment inside the activity with the help of uh, navigation ui so so let's do it first thing first we will add uh, create a new fragment and the name of the fragment will be user profile fragment and we already have the necessary you uh, xml design file layout file for the uh, user profile fragment uh, this is the design file and layout file so we will use this uh, layout file to inflate uh, our new fragment but uh, before doing that I will make a little change because we have some little uh, it's not issue uh, we, we need to make a little change so it is saying that tools.src we, we will make it uh, Android just to make Android and also the name the tools it is we will uh, make it Android and uh, email tools so Android okay now we will uh, use uh, we will create the fragment uh, we will go to the this package name here right click here and new and new fragment and fragment blank and as we have all those um, uh, the XML layout file already here we will uncheck this and name it like user profile fragment so profile fragment okay finish now we will uh, create a uh, data binding variable let init for binding which will be a part uh, which will be a type of uh, fragment user profile binding fragment user profile binding and here we will initialize it like binding plus data binding data binding util dot inflate and we will take this uh, inflator and uh, uh, view group container so inflator and we will inflate the r dot layout dot fragment user profile and then use the parent view group container and we do not want to attach it to the view hierarchy so we will choose false and we will return finally we will return binding dot root okay now uh, oh, we need return we need a return statement return okay now we will go to the navigation ui so navigation app navigation and add our newly created uh, uh, fragment here so clicking here and user profile fragment so we do not we will load this fragment using the options menu how can I we do it so we will first we will need to uh, create a uh, menu directory first and inside the menu directory we will create a uh, menu file menu resource file so for that we will go to the resource rest folder uh, right click here and new android uh, resource directory and here we can see the directory name and resource type we will select the type of menu and we will give a name directory name menu okay click okay and right click on menu and new menu resource file 
and we will give a name of app menu okay now a menu this is the design file of menu we will create a menu item just creating and drag and drop here and here we need a id so this id will be the id of that fragment we want to load so what we actually want to do we want to add show this menu here and clicking the menu clicking the menu will load this fragment so we need the id of that this user profile fragment I, we will get the id from here simply copy it and we will we will go back to the app menu and give the id name this is the id name the same name so user profile fragment and we will give a title that's just in our case only profile and show as sorry and show as icon what it will do so basically uh, the default action is uh, the the three three dot will appear and clicking the uh, dot dots a uh, overflow menu will appear but i want to do it uh, like uh, show as uh, so i uh, show as action as always so if i create click always and apply now it is it will show the profile here always it will be shown and the visible uh, I, will, I will make it true so all done now that doesn't actually uh, ensure that our menu will appear uh, here so for that we need to do one thing okay another thing I need to we need to explain uh, we need to say that uh, where I want to do, uh, what I want to um, actually show this options menu. I can either show it uh, inside the main activity if I do that in activity. So the menu will appear in all those fragment. But I do not want to um, show it inside actually game fragment because clicking that game fragment, clicking that. Uh, uh, clicking that uh, options menu uh, the if the um, user profile fragment appear here all this game consistency will be uh, removed so i want to add this uh, uh, options menu only on title fragment so we will go to the title fragment and inside the on create view before returning we will say and that way that we have a options menu so set as options menu and it will be true then we need to uh, do one more thing that we need to uh, implement uh, override the on create options menu so we will in the on create on create options menu and we need to inflate our menu inflator so this is very simple uh, we will inflate like okay take this here we will inflate like uh, inflator this is the inflator inflator dot inflate and we will inflate uh, our we will inflate this menu this menu so r dot uh, r dot menu dot app menu and we need another value this menu this value so okay, menu so if i run this app now run this we will run this app so from our app, uh, we can see that options menu has been appeared, and if we click uh, click this, nothing ha nothing is happening. Why is that? Because uh, we uh, till now we say, have said that uh, how to create the, or inflate the options menu, but we haven't said anything about the 
what we will uh, it will do uh, when we click the options menu so we will uh, create the uh, uh, click behavior so there is a uh, function like on selected options menu so we will override that uh, uh, override that function so on selected uh, on options item on options item selected so this is this is the function and inside it we will so so if we will say the if navigation ui navigation ui what is navigation ui dot uh, on navigation destination selected so so basically say that on create on uh, selecting that item so uh, we are what is the navigation destination selection so uh, and selected will be the item here is the item that I uh, which that item we are clicking uh, so uh, it will be item and another parameter is view view from the gate view and it will be not null not null we'll make it not null and dot find controller and if this if this is the case uh, we will return true we'll return true uh, otherwise if we will return uh, the super of on options item selected so basically it is saying that uh, this is the item actually here if we go to the uh, if there is there are multiple items it is saying that in the title fragment that uh, if navigation ui on nav uh, destination is uh, if this destination selected is already selected so uh, return true otherwise return false so if i run this app right now this app now and from our app uh, if we click this profile menu the frag menu user profile fragment uh, is loaded by clicking the by clicking the menu here as ex as expected so our menu is working fine so although uh, this <laughs> Uh, profile uh, is uh, holding some static data uh, but our main concern was uh, how how this menu of op options menu work works so this is working fine uh, later uh, in the next tutorial i will show how to use firebase authentication to get some real data from uh, user until then thank you for watching